What's up, Mass fans? This is Martin Garza from My Mama, Florida, and basically I wanted to do a quick review on the 1988 Split Seconds Mask Sky Bolt. And uh, what I can tell you about this figure is it's, uh, it's one of my second favorites to that of, let me see, uh, Goliath and, of course, Fire Force. And, um, you know, I just got this one about a week ago. Uh, it's complete. A little rough on the edges, whatnot, but, you know, it's in fairly nice shape. Um, also comes with Matt Tucker original and the hologram of Matt Tucker. And um, I'll go ahead and put these aside. And as you can see here, you know, this um, jet is real, really, really well crafted all the way around, you know. Um, the wings on this are a little bit loose, but, you know, but for its age, you know, I have to say, you know, they really kept it up. It's, it's in really good shape, um, you know. These are fairly expensive as well, you know. I, I paid a little bit of money for this, so <laughs> I don't want to, really don't want to put out how much I paid for it. But um, unfortunately, it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't too expensive neither. So, although on eBay I saw that it, they had a good deal on it, so I went ahead and bought it. But basically, what I can tell you about this, like I said before, it came out in 1988. You know, um, when Mass put out the Split Second series. And, um, you know, Skybolt was just one of those individual uh, vehicles that I really, really liked. And, um, you know, what I want to go ahead and do is just kind of give you, a, you know, a little view of what this, you know, jet looks like and stuff like that from the back here to the sides. And, of course, to the front. Sorry about the wings. They're a bit loose. But, uh, you know... Um, I have to really say I was really, really happy with its condition when it arrived. Um, it's It's got, you know, it's got a great, great, you know, defined look to it. You know, it's just got, it's very, very well crafted and everything like that. Like I said, 80s toys were particularly had some of the greatest of toys out there you know and everything like that so but anyways um i want to go ahead and uh, per, uh go ahead and go into the transformation of it as you know this particular jet here sky bolt can transform into two separate vehicles um so what you want to go ahead and do is up here where you see this little thingy up here you want to go ahead and press that little button down and what it's going to do it's basically going to separate the jet in half as you can see here it's going to split it in half and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take this portion of the jet and just put it off to the side and what we want to go ahead and do is transform this portion of the jet into its super jet or you know whatever you want to call it 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 in actuality it, you know it reminds me when you do transform it it sort of reminds me of like something out of star wars and stuff like that but anyways you have two sets of wings to this jet you got the bottom ones and then you have the top ones and what you want to do is basically you want to take the top ones and oh look one of the stickers fell off. I'll have to put that back on later. But anyways, um, what you want to do is you want to basically put this wing up like that. Not too high. You kind of want to like put it a little ways there. And then unfortunately the bottom wing, you want to bring it down just a bit. Same thing with the other side. You want to bring it up just a tad like that. You know they are kind of hard so you know you want to take caution and not to add too much pressure to it and not force it you don't want to break it and then you want to bring it up like that and unfortunately you want to leave you know you want to lower the bottom wing a little bit and there you go you know that's the super jet version of sky bolt which like i said before kind of has that you know that awesome star wars looking jet look to it and everything like that and um it, it really is superb 
and um, it's got the little jets booster rockets in the back the little jets in the back and stuff like that it's got all that and you know got the slick front and everything this front here is able to eject out but I did it once before and I had a hard time trying to put it back in so I'm just basically going to tell you what it can do instead of actually showing you that I can how it can do it and everything like that um, but this is the portion of the jet of Sky Bolt, the super jet, and like I said, it's super slick. It's really awesome. Um, it's got great definition, a killer look, and I, I just love it. You know, it's. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take this and put it off to the side, and let me go ahead and bring the other, the the second half of the jet, and basically with this part here as for those who know it, it's able to transform into a racer car or you know a race car and basically what you want to do is this little button here that's over to the side you want to press it and like that and you know the fin, the rear fin to the jet is automatically going to, you know, rotate over to the back of the um, race car. And you want to bring the uh, wheels out like that, you know. And there you go. You got that supercar jet, whatnot, if that's what you want to call it. Um, you know, the only thing I got with the only thing I don't really care for on this car is the spoiler, which is the rear of the Skybolt jet. Um, you know, particularly I'm not a real big fan of that, but it is what it is. And you know, me being a somewhat of a customizer, maybe in the future I'll come up with something to replace it um, for a different spoiler but you know like I said it that's what it is and you know it's got that really cool engine in the back you know uh, uh, the front of the car is very slick you know that like I said this figure is just really really cool on the bottom here you're gonna see the rear wheels which are covered by this portion of the jet and uh, you know it's got its wheels down there you see you can see the engine the engine's pretty cool, you know, whatnot. And uh, usually, what I do, you know, with the Matt Tucker figures is the, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, the regular Matt Tucker one. Um, I I would put it in the race car just because it gives it a much better look, a way better look actually. Um, it's kind of hard to get it in there. Oops, what did I do? Oh, that's another thing, guys. This part of the car, it you know, this little missile thingy up here in the front is able to eject when you press this button here. I forgot to mention that, but unfortunately, um, I ended up pressing it, so now you know. But going back into Matt Tucker, you know, I use this particular Matt Tucker to go ahead and place in this car. Um, they. You know, it's really hard to get Matt Tucker in there because, like I said, this is a really, this is just a really small hole and stuff like that. So you got to really work it in. Um, it'd be better if you just took up the, the mask off first, then put Matt Tucker in, and then place the mask back on like that. And there you go. There you have it. You know. Now the race car's got that killer edge to it and everything like that. And for the flight, you know, the super jet version of it, what I do is, you know, if I can get this open, this is fairly hard to open at times. You, know, you have to have nails to basically open it. I used a hologram of Matt Tucker to go ahead and place in the jet. Just because of the fact that, you know, when you, you know, when you close it, when you close this portion of the jet, you know, you can't really see them and stuff like that. But once you close it and everything like that, you know, you see a little orange in there, but, you know, you can't really see them. But that's what I do. You know, it's just 
it would make sense for me, you know, but anyways, but there you have it, you know, two really cool 1980s vintage masterpiece here, um, you know, the uh, split second sky bolt from the 1980s, Kinner mask, uh, one of my second favorites of the line, and, uh, you know, for you guys out there who are thinking about getting one, I recommend that you should. It's a really, really cool, slick looking toy. You know, it's great for collectors, whatnot, for us collectors from the, you know, for us old schoolers and stuff like that. So, um, but what I can tell you is, is that if you go on eBay, whatnot, uh, it's going to be, most of them are really, really expensive, you know, um, loose, they run between a hundred dollars to a hundred and twenty to a hundred and sixty and then brand new they run like about between three hundred to what four hundred and fifty dollars brand new in the box so you know uh like i said but there are deals out there like i said i found this one online on ebay and got a sweet deal on it wasn't too expensive but i did pay i feel that i paid more than i should have but um I like it it's I added it to my collection and it's sweet and I love it so for you guys out there that like I said before are thinking about getting this particular figure this vehicle I recommend that you should you will love it it, it is a great crafted vehicle has a lot of great definition you know just go out and get it you know good luck on your bids whatnot you know so that's about it Oh, um, I also wanted to add that, you know, for you guys out there that are Transformer um, collectors, you remember that um, Seacon collection that came out, that 20 year anniversary Seacon or whatever it was. Well, you know the stands that you would normally put the Seacons on when in their um, battle mode and their weapon mode? Uh, well, you know. <clears throat> I took one of those and I basically what I did was I would I attached it to the bottom here as you can see and what I did is I attached it and then it makes a great stand it really does once you got it in there the jet basically doesn't move at all see it stands up and you know you can rotate it and everything like that and it, it just won't move it won't move at all so for if you have one of these extra and stuff like that um, you know you could use it as a stand it's excellent so just wanted to go ahead and give you that little you know tip there and stuff like that but anyways I want to thank everybody out there for watching and uh, you know, I recommend everybody get this jet. You know, get this mass piece. It's an excellent piece. I love it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.